Did you see the list of pitchers? Okay, so tonight is going to be tonight is going to be um, Hunter Brown, and then after that is Verlander on Saturday, which is nice. And then it's it's open. Uh, they haven't decided on what they're going to do. You got to throw Urquidy in there, but what are you going to do with? Are, are you telling me that you're just going to kick JP France to no, the curb? No, there's no way. I mean, I think they're just figuring out if they want to go. You know what we could do is see. You know what we could do is see France followed by Urquidy. Uh, no. Well, so they've got. I think they're going. This is what it looks like right now, and I don't know if they've got this from the Astros or they're just guessing. They've got Brown tonight for Orlando tomorrow. Open against Rodon on on Sunday. Then it's Valdez, Javier, Brown, Verlander. Open. Valdez, Javier. Is only one of those guys or Kitty? Because that means if it's if it's going to be a five-man rotation, then it looks like France is getting kicked to the curb. I don't see that. Well, he's going to... I uh, think Arkady's going to. Arkady's shown nothing so far this year that would lead you... That come relative but but to, can he... When you're coming off an injury like this, can you throw him in the bullpen when it's you know up and down and he well, has no idea when he's going to be every, pitching? You can't every fifth day. I mean, in the short term, you I, can work him, work him in, right? Listen, he's getting has, ready for the postseason. Has France been one of your best pitchers yes. during this time? So I mean, you it's let, been unbelievable. So you let him go... France goes five to six, or Kitty comes in and works a couple innings potentially, you know, um, and then you go from there with your with your relief with your bullpen. Is that a okay? It's a it's a pairing of France and Urquidy? Maybe for a game, maybe for a game. I mean, the problem is France can go six, France can go sometimes seven yeah. when he's effective. So I don't know that you want to put Urquidy in those kind of leverage positions right now. He's still trying to prove he can. Pitch on a major league level. He got racked around a little bit in the minors. So, was it a little surprising to see Montero coming in in a, game, in a one run situation? No, Dusty. When does Dusty avoid? Well, him? but he has avoided lately. This. He no, he has avoided this for a month or mo- a couple of months. Lately, now. lately he has, but it doesn't shock me. When he's in, I'm like, yeah. Well, know. he's actually pitched much better lately. He he's has. actually pitched much better, and lately. he didn't give up a run yesterday. No, he didn't. And did you see how it was pissed? two on? Did you I mean, see how? Uh, yeah, he did have two on. Did you see? And I thought, uh oh, here it's going to explode. And he was able to get, he got judged on a nice pitch. Yeah. Um, but Kendall Graveman could not have been more pissed off. That dude wanted to get through that inning and a third without giving up anything, without giving up that run. He wanted it so bad. After, after Volpe got the hit, they, they went back and they showed a replay of Graveman. And man, you know that anger where you're like, ah, so mad. Yeah. He wanted to come in here and show the guys that he was back and he he wants to be a, you know, a big part. He didn't want he wanted to show his new team that he was uh ready to contribute. And he gives up the run, he gets the loss. That's not it's not it's it's a it's a bad way for him to start. But um I'm glad that Kendall Graveman, yeah, I don't, I don't mind him in in uh in high leverage situations. I was a little bit surprised at Montero Although although he has been pitching later better lately, you know, if if he continues to throw pretty well and he can he can come in there, his that's ERA, a big boost to the. No, his ERA for the first time is below six. Yeah, that is a big boost. No, look at his last like four outings. His last th- four outings have been pretty good. He had two walks on strikeout yesterday. I mean, that's good for him though. That's not bad. Going one to two. <laughs> that's not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> that's not bad for him. Hates. I'll take it, but for him, that's not bad. Okay, here's what you got. Your last five. One innings, two walks, one strikeout. One inning, no hits, one strikeout. One innings, two hits, one run, one home run, one walk, three strikeouts. One and a third, no hits, one walk, one strikeouts. One inning, no hits, yeah. no walks, one strikeout. Yeah, he's been. He's better. given up one. He's he's actually given up two hits in his last uh, five and a third. He's given up one earned run. Yeah, you're right. And then two, five, six, seven, yeah. and four. Yeah. So if you can count on him, that's a big boost to the bullpen. That's a huge boost for a guy that you could that Dusty Baker a month and a half ago said, "Where do you want me to throw him? What do you want me to do? I got to pitch him. The what do you want the, me to do?" The whip is uh is is a 152, but honestly, I'm that's much less a concern than we're back on the freaking concern about about Christian Javier. By the way, Javier goes 4 and 2 thirds, gives up 3 runs. His ERA is now up to 439. He's 7 and 2. He's not getting any decisions. Like no. as bad as he's pitching, he's not getting losses. No, and and it, again, it's the four ver- strikeouts, three walks, two home I got, runs. Listen, this is the second time in a row that he's given up three in the first. Right, it's the second time in mm-hmm. a row. Yeah, I've got the solution. 
pitch him in the second inning. Ooh, go with the open, go with their Kitty one inning opener. Uh, or Montero. Montero's been okay. Throw him for the first inning. I still don't. Okay. Like, and I like this game where we're bringing Montero back slowly. Yeah. I like that a lot better. I want to give him the start, one inning. Javier comes in in the second inning. Mm-hmm. And then gets So you think what? it's a problem, though, with his first inning, though, maybe? Because then your I problems... I don't know. All I know is it's the first inning that's bothering him. It is, but it's also his first inning. Yeah. If we move to the second, is it really just his first and I'm the just, same problems pop up? Lance, did he give up any runs in the second his last two starts? No. Oh, by the way, what were the odds that late in the, that or what were the odds in the game well it wasn't late in the game that the Astros would have men on base and then would get back-to-back RBIs from Jake and, and Maldonado. Maldonado oh by the way None? all what? your Maldonado slander okay Yours. y'all can stop y'all can stop y'all three hits last night y'all you ain't got no. no haters you ain't popping if you ain't got haters you ain't popping that's right you ain't got haters and you two been hating on Martin Maldonado oh wow okay well, I've been, I've been a, I've been number an one ally. Silky Johnson player I've been a haters Mal- right Maldonado next to Maldonado ally. All this you two, you two. What have I said about Maldonado? I meant used to. You mean use, use, use. To. looking in the mirror, used use. To. Okay, that stop already, Maldonado. And then he pinch hits for him. The one game Maldonado was hitting, he pinch hit for him. In yeah, the did you have a problem with it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I saw him on the. I'm I like, didn't. oh god, oh, this game's not hitting worth it. I'm a like, bleep. I know. I, I looked and I'm like, oh, God, this game's going to end with Maldonado, Maldonado at the plate and then on base. <laughs> I was so happy to see a guy who was – I've never been more happy to see a guy who was three for three pinch hit four. Probably in my life mm. where one guy's three for three and you say, God, I Gotta hope get he him out of the hit. game. <laughs> Got to get him out. Might be the only time in my life I felt that way. Yeah. So then Astros end up losing, and uh, they've got uh, Hunter Brown against Luis Severino uh, tonight. It's, so, that's a tricky one. Um. Well, I don't know how tricky it is because his last outing against Baltimore, three and a third, 10 hits, nine earned runs, okay? Ooh. A home run, two walks, five strikeouts in three and a third. They lit him up. Time before that, uh, five and two thirds, three earned runs, six and one earned run, two and uh, two thirds, 10 hits, seven earned runs. So it's a little feast for fame. He's got 11 2 2 ERA this month. Severino? Yeah. And 6 9 3 last month. Well, Severino is he's the Montero of the starters well, for the Yankees. We, I hope we hit him. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. We, I think we should. I'm pretty sure we should. Dude, is he's big, he's strong, and he is just getting lit up lately. I watched that Baltimore game, and they were, it was just, I was like, when are you good? You got to take this guy out. What are you doing, Darren Boone? And he was like, "Just leave him out there. I can't. I, mean, I can't afford to take him out in the first inning. He sucks. He was awful, awful." And they still, the, and Baltimore pounded him. And that's the first place team, and you're letting your starter just just die out there. It was amazing. I was like, "This game doesn't mean anything to the Yankees. Apparently, they don't care about this game." The over under for runs <laughs> is nine today. Yeah. Hunter Brown's been giving it up a little bit too lately. So yeah. Uh, Astros are 145 favorite. How are you not, though, with Severino that bad? Severino's been that bad. That bad. 